Okay, so we're here today to unbox uh, some forensics equipment that we just received at the University of New Haven. And uh, Mark is with me. Hello. And uh, you want to introduce yourselves? I'm Chris. Chris. I'm Dave. Dave. Cameron. Cameron. And uh, basically, you guys want to help me do this. So what, what is this? Let's see. I'm going to open this up here. So go ahead and open this up. Uh, Mark. Uh, okay, so these are the tableaus. Okay, these are these are uh, basically kits for write blocking hard drives and medias. So a lot of the agencies as well as law enforcement, they use a lot of this stuff. Let's open one up and have a look at it. So basically we have a couple of bridges in here and we have a quite a bit of wires so what we do with these is basically whenever you're imaging hard disks um, you actually connect a hard disk to one of the bridges based on whatever hard disk you have uh, based on the wires if they're SATA if they're not and then you plug them into the computer and then you image it and what what uh, what happens is is that it blocks any writing to the media because you know, whenever, whenever you're doing uh, imaging, you don't want to write anything to the hard disk. Uh, some people use them for triage purposes as well when they connect the hard drive on the scene and they do some analysis of the media. So how many, how many of these do we have? I think we have six of these. Six of the kits? Yeah, I think we have six of these. Okay, yeah, let's put this back and unbox the next stuff. We're gonna play with a lot of this stuff later. Ultra kits. They're pretty ultra. Ultra boxes. All right. So what's the next box that we're gonna go for? Careful. Mark the powerful man. So not only are we uh, unboxing forensics equipment, we're using Google Glass to record it, which is pretty awesome. Oh, you stole it from me. No, you handed it. No. no one stole anything. <laughs> Come and, here. Yeah, these comments don't represent the university <laughs> in any way, shape, or form. <laughs> okay, so what do we have here? Oh, I think these are other tableaus, are they? Oh, okay, no. I, I, okay, I know what these are. So let's open one of them. Okay, it, is a, it, it might be a tableau, but this should be, and I think they shipped us the wrong one. Uh, we're going to have to see, because they shipped us the TD2s. So we're going to have to call them back and have them ship us the, the, the next version of, because these, we ordered the TD3s, right? I believe so. Yeah. I'm seeing a predominance of PETA technology, but not a lot of... SATA hard drive tech. So you, you'd have it in the in the other bigger box. So this is actually what this is used for. It's a forensic duplicator. So it's a hardware imaging device. Um, so with the other one, you'd have to connect it to the computer system to actually image a hard disk. However, with these ones, you can actually image the disk directly from the hardware, which proves to be faster in, in, in many situations. Uh, this, is, this is also a forensic disk wiper. And uh, so if you ever have disks that you want to wipe, uh, it probably uses a DOD uh, standard military wipe. So uh, it's probably, a, the DOD is about seven times, I think you have to write to it, uh, yeah, to the disk. So, but I think we might have to contact them because we did order, I think the TD3s, which are more up to date and you can actually, um, with the TD3s, you can do remote access into the device. So that was, that's going to be the thing that uh, that you don't have right now. But I think there's one more big thing because the rest of the stuff might be similar still. Yeah, I think you need to be careful with this stuff. <laughs> Work the wires. Make sure it's flat before you pick it. Okay, this is 
High tech forensic. Super high tech. Did, did we? Did this come with it? Is this ours even? Yes, it is. Okay. So this is the. This is the Fred station. Yeah. Is it for the Fred? For Fred. Oh, okay. All right. This is what it is. Okay, so Fred is a computer system that is completely optimized for um, for forensic purposes. So typically you have all these different parts that you want to put together, whereas I think uh, the Fred's probably in that one, so we might want to grab this big one. Uh, but Fred is basically a desktop computer with different slots in it, and those slots are already write blocked. So you don't need the extra hardware write blocker, so it actually speeds up the forensic uh, investigation process. Um, is there a portable setup of Fred for like a laptop or anything, or is it just these devices here? That... Um, typically, I mean, there might be some that people have developed, but they probably won't be as optimized as uh, as as a desktop solution, right? Because mostly, what uh, what what they end up doing is they take uh, they take the evidence back to um, back to uh, the lab, right? So. Let's uh, let's unbox the Fred, which should be interesting. But now I'm sad because the TD3s should have come in, and instead we got the TD2s. Got some more goodies in here too. Unless they sent us some gifts. I think these are probably the other tableaus. Oh, yeah, the other three that we were looking. Yeah, because for. yeah, Mark, you need. Whoa, whoa, take it easy. So I think this is the first ever unboxing of forensics equipment, <laughs> ever. Ever, 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 ever. Google Glass, you're great, but the, your battery is low. So let's do this quickly. <laughs> All right. So this is the monster. The first thing that you see is a big word saying attention. Yeah, the Registration documents enclosed. Do not discard. So we're definitely not going to discard this. All right. We need to do this slowly. All right. So as you can see, this is the monster. Holy um, It's a really nice system. These are the slots that we were talking about here. Um. See, the Tableau blockers are already built into the system. I'd swap them with your eyes. Mm -hmm. Ooh, that's a pull-out fan. So as you can see, um, can, you can imagine how much time some this, this might save during, uh, during investigations and processing uh, the evidence. These um, tablets, are they available to the public or are they something that has to be acquired through? Um, because we're a research facility. So. Right. So, so, so most, most people, I mean, I'm sure that if you want one, you can order one. Sure. But most people won't pay the amount of money that's yeah. needed for something like that. So, they're especially, uh, they're highly specialized devices that typically uh, governmental entities only end up, uh, end up using. Um, can you uh, can you simulate it via software and just access to a hard drive? And you know, it seems like is it a standalone interface in the sense that you don't have to have the operating system running, or you just? Well, I mean, you can have any forensic operating system really run. Um, the the yeah. So so the idea is with the system. The, the idea is if you get a hard drive that needs to be investigated, you'd plug it in in one of these swappable drives. Yeah, swappable drives. You plug it in, and then you get immediate access to it. Um, and also the system's hardware is uh, optimized in such a way that it, it really does help speed up the investigation. Um, and as forensic tools are becoming more paralyzed and, and they can take care, you know, advantage of... of uh, multi-core systems, the idea is it should uh, hopefully be able to handle some of these things. So yeah, this is the unboxing of the really cool stuff that we just got. 
our students are gonna get to play uh, to play with these things. They're already playing with them, <laughs> but hopefully they'll stop in a minute. <laughs> All right. Well, thank you uh, guys for helping with the unboxing, and uh, yeah. So I'm gonna stop this right now.